style is very lean, Ms. Martinez, and the content is very moving. I know my story may be hard to take. No, but it's accurate. I've covered Central America, and I've seen the war, and I've seen... Uh... The problems do not go away like the journalists and soldiers. I know your life continues to be hard. And your book does not spare us that realization. Um, that's why it's so powerful. Um, my fiancé, Pierce, um, stayed in your country for, for a while, for, for a long while. But then, like the others, he left. Well, he had no choice when he was injured. I don't suppose... I know there's probably very little chance that you would know any of the people that he's been trying to track down. Their name is Vargas. Vargas. That's not an uncommon name. He fell in love with a Christina Vargas. They had a child, a, a daughter. And the woman he loved? She was killed. And he's been searching for their daughter. Is it possible that you would know any members of the Vargas family who survived the war? The war destroyed many families, made many orphans. Many things could have happened to Mr. Riley's child. Could have been sent to an orphanage, adopted illegally by someone in the junta government, left to die in the street, or killed outright. I've seen cases of all these things happening. Oh, dear God. God abandoned us long ago. You say that the child's mother was murdered? Yes, uh, she was shot in front of Pierce. Ms. Martinez, what town did you live in? Los Rios. There's not much left of it now. Los Rios? It's where Pierce was stationed. Los Rios? You and Pierce might have been there at the same time. Perhaps. Were you there 18 years ago? That was when Pierce lost his daughter. It's not a tiny shanty village. You may think that we all know each other. We don't. No, I... I didn't think that. I... Well, then, leave it alone, please. I would rather not talk about Los Rios. I'm sorry, really. Um, I didn't mean to push you, and I certainly didn't mean to, you know, to offend you. It, it just that Pierce and I have been looking for his daughter, and you're really the first glimmer of hope that I've found. And I, I know it's a long shot, and uh, it's just, it's too important not to try. You know, if there's anything that you might know, anything that you could tell us, I, we would appreciate it so much. Listen, um, Ms. Martinez, both Brooke and I know the pain of losing a child. I would help you if I could. But I cannot. You see, I lived my whole life in Los Rios. But as for my adult life, I lived it there, in prison. You were in prison? Yes. Were you a political prisoner? I have shocked you. No, you haven't. Was there more than one prison in Los Rios? No. So then you were in the same prison as the Senorita Vargas that we're trying to find. I have told you, I didn't know such a woman. But there must be a possibility if you were both in the same prison that Is you... Is this an interrogation? Do you think I should still be treated as a criminal? No, no, I'm sorry. I... Well, I am not a criminal. No, unless we know there's lots of reasons why people are imprisoned. I was in prison once myself for contempt of court, for refusal to name a source in a story. I, I... That is not the same thing. I lived in rags amidst filth. I had to fight with rats for the spoiled food that they gave us. You chose not to name your source. You had an option of not going. I had no option. I believe that that jail cell would also be my graveyard. Miss Martinez, there's no way we can possibly 
Well, we can just empathize with your plight. We can't know what you endured and survived. You're right. I wouldn't wish my life on anyone. <sighs> Forgive me, Miss English. I couldn't tell you anything about the prison, except for the stench of my cell. Or how the rocks from the floor pushed up through the straw mat where I slept. Is that what you wish to hear from me? It must have been horrible for you. I was a political prisoner. The only people I saw were my inhuman captors. You can read all this. Writing it is much easier than telling. Please excuse me for a minute. Certainly. Uh, if you want the ladies' room, it's just down this hall on the left. That was intense. You know, I'd, <clears throat> I'd, I couldn't help myself. I heard Los Rios, and then I heard the same prison, and I... I know, it's an amazing coincidence. I'm just going to have to keep my reporter's curiosity in check. I don't want to push her into a corner. She seemed defensive about something. Mm -hmm. So I'm not the only one that thinks that she knows more than she's saying. Or not saying. Look, I remember my interview with Arthur Pembo right after he was released from that South African jail. Mm. Took him a while to warm up to me, too. Well, to retell it is to relive it. How did you get him to warm up? Patience. You have to remember she's a political prisoner. I mean, she talks to the wrong person. She would have gotten killed. I mean, why should I expect her to have instant trust? I'm very sorry for rushing out. Oh, listen, please. No apologies are necessary, and there's not going to be any more prodding. You tell your story the way you see fit, and we'll play everything by ear. Okay? Excuse me. Yes. All right, we'll be there. Excuse me. Um... Carl's tobacco ecstasy is breaking again, so this may mean that we're going to have to reposition our cover story. Mm. Well, that's great for Carl. It's murder for us. It's, excuse me, it's our turn to rush out now. Uh, one moment. I, I have the third chapter. Please, don't let anyone else read it. You have my word. Listen, we will keep this in strictest confidentiality. Really. Um, let me give you my card. It has... Um, this is my new home phone, my new address. And please call me if you need anything. I'm so sorry. I really am. I hate to leave like this. Uh -oh. I understand. Um, could I please use the telephone? Yes, sure. Uh, help yourself, all right? Goodbye. daughter, Laura, aren't you? Yeah, who are you? Um, I am Diana Martinez. I'm working on a story with your mother. She's yeah. always talking about you. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. She, yeah, she's talked about you, too. Sorry for the third degree. Where, where is she? Um, she and Mr. Gray had to rush off. They had an emergency. Oh, yeah, well, they always keep her hopping around here, so... She's such a busy woman. Moving to a new home, and now she's going to be married again. There's so many changes going on, I'm sure it must be very difficult for you. Not really. I've, I've moved around a lot, so it's no big deal. Yes, but now, now you're going to have a new father. Well, actually, I lived with Pierce before I lived with Brooke, so he's kind of like my father already. So it, it all works out. Yeah. Tell me... How did you know? Look, I, I'm sorry to, to run out of here, but I've got to pick up my little brother. Um, can you just tell Brooke I stopped by? Of course. Thanks. It was nice meeting you. You too. Bye. Now, you see, they want to put my sculpture in, in the atrium. Ah. Yeah. Well, nice. my only concern is the, is the light. You see, during the day, the natural light is perfect. It's great. Yeah, but at night, 
Those floodlights cast the most god-awful shadows. Oh, I don't Here. What? It's her. Who? It's Diana Martinez. It's... Yeah. It's getting silly. A mister again. Yeah, she certainly has a habit of popping up. 